Hello everyone, welcome to Geology Concepts YouTube channel. I am here to discuss with you in this short video a very important basalt tetrahedron which is a classical approach to classify the basalt based on the four important minerals of the group feldspar and pyroxene that are essentially present in any basalt. Now what is a basalt? For classification we need to define what is basalt and how do we get basalt on the surface of the earth. So basalt is a fine grained volcanic rock which we find at the oceanic crust or the top layer of oceanic crust and it is essentially as I have told you contains calcic plagioclase feldspar and pyroxene which is usually augite and quartz might be might not be present in it. So how do we get the basalt? Basalt is a product or is an abundant product of the partial melting of peridotite or the mental we can say right. Also in this basalt most of the basalt about 40 to 50 percent basalt that we get on the surface of the earth is actually containing xenoliths and that those are the direct in evidences of deep crust or we can say the mental. So how do we get basalt as I have told you that basalt is a dark colored ultra basic rock and plutonic and hyperbisal equivalents of basalt is basalt are gabbro and dolerite. Now how do we get basalt? We get basalt when we partially melt the mantle or uh, the mantle rock which is essentially having a composition of lherzolite. Now when we partially melt the lherzolite, the residuum gets richer in mafic content such as Harzburgite or even dunite which is a monomineralic rock containing more than 90% olivine. But the product that we get out of this partial melting is tholeotic basalt. Now in basalt also there are two categories one is the alkaline one is the subalkaline but whatever we get at the surface or in the shallow subsurface is the tholeotic one because it is more depleted one. The enriched one or the primitive type is at a deeper level which is essentially alkaline or calc alkaline. We will get to know that. So this is how we get the basalt at the uh, surface of the sea floor or we can say the thin crust of oceanic crust the upper layer of the oceanic crust. Now this is how a basalt tetrahedron look like. Why it is a tetrahedron because the four essential parts of the basalt are nepheline, olivine, quartz and clinopyroxene and a very important dividing or distinguishing planes are dividing this tetrahedron in three important volumes. Now let us talk about the quartz tholeite. In this region the main important constituents are clinopyroxene, orthopyroxene and quartz and a plane which is separating this volume from the rest of the tetrahedron is a critical plane of silica saturation whose end members are clinopyroxene, plagioclase and orthopyroxene. Now this plane is critical plane of silica saturation that means anything on the right side of this is quartz rich and hence the volume is itself known as quartz tholeite volume or silica oversaturated region. So whatever basalt we get in this region or of this mineralogy we call that as quartz tholeite volume. Similarly on the left side of this plane the critical plane of silica saturation and between the critical plane of silica under saturation this red one we get olivine tholeite which is silica saturated region and on the right side sorry on the left side of this olivine clinopyroxene and plagioclase plane that is the critical plane of silica under saturation we get silica under saturated basalts that those are alkali basalt, basinites, nephelinites or those are the silica undersaturated regions. Why we are calling them as silica undersaturated because we know nepheline does not occur naturally with quartz. You will never find nepheline occurring with quartz or in very negligible quantity we might find that but not in great abundance. So hence these are more alkaline in content and these are uh, silica saturated. Now important thing to note from this tetrahedron is the base of this tetrahedron which is this nepheline plagioclase quartz and olivine phase which I have projected from clinopyroxene and shown over here. This plane nepheline quartz and olivine plane has this line joining olivine and albite which is a very important line because somewhere parallel to this line exists a thermal divide. Now this thermal divide this thermal divide can only be observed at low pressures only and this is quite important why because this is the 
point or this is the separation which separates the two series two important series of basalts one is the alkaline basalt one is the tholeitic or subalkaline basalts because in subalkaline again we find two type of series one is tholeitic series and one is calcalkaline series for for that concept you can refer to our video i will just share the the link of this video in the description you can watch so this was about the basalt tetraeden i hope you learned about it how do we classify the basalt and what is the basalt in the last i would like to share it with you that we have started our online classes for iit jam i would suggest you to register for the free demo you fill the form a google form in the description which we have linked in the description we will contact you and we'll let you join the class you can also contact us on the contact number provided here thank you like the video share the video subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to geology concepts thank you have a nice day